Well, one of the things that I like about Royal Life is this, because I think it does a lot for you as a person, and it really signifies the fact that you've made it. We're talking, of course, about businesses that do incredibly well. Now, of course, when you think also, businesses today can do well all thanks to the world of social media. I read recently about a company that got promoted by a big influencer, and that really shot up their business and really helped them. And I think that's a nice positive story, isn't it? But really, getting one of these surely must be the icing on the cake. Yes, we're talking, of course, about the wonderful Royal Warrants. Let me explain. All right. <laughs> I'll get there in the end. It's been a long day. Yes. <laughs> I better do it before the light goes, actually. <laughs> nice to see you anyway. Thank you. That's right. The Royal Warrants are something to behold. Absolutely. We'll have a quick wave. Sorry, by the way. That's right. Yes, the Royal Warrants are something to behold. Simply because, you know, when you think back, uh, it really, really signified the fact that your business was doing well. It was something that you could put on headed paper. Now, of course, you put it on your website or your social media. But to put it outside your store basically says that you are in the higher echelons. Now, Queen Camilla has, for the very first time, issued seven royal warrants and seven more, of course, from His Majesty the King. Now, these will do a lot of good for businesses. And all the naysayers that say, no, they don't do anything, they truly do because tourists do want to shop in the stores that supply things to the British monarchy. I don't know if you know this, but at the recent garden parties uh, held at Buckingham Palace, and there's going to be more, of course, throughout the summer, a lot of people were complimenting King Charles on the tea. And, you know, he couldn't say exactly where the tea was from because, obviously, it will be promotion. But I can tell you that the tea served at the royal garden parties at Buckingham Palace is none other than the Fortnum & Mason's Royal Blend. Now, I've been lucky enough to have had a tin of that and it's absolutely delicious. You know the sort of tea that tastes like tea if you could afford to buy it? Do you know what I'm saying on a serious note? You kind of think, wow, if I had the money, definitely get this. Well, Fortnum & Masons are now back on track also to keep their royal warrants. And when they're producing tea like that, who can blame them? But who else has done well in this new round of warrants? Let me explain. Among them are the luxury department store, the aforementioned Fortnum & Masons, the Cornwell-based sparkling wine producer, Carmel Valley, and Shane Connolly & Company, which was the florist for Camilla and Prince Charles' wedding in 2005, and then at their Westminster Abbey coronation last May. This is more important, of course, because companies that have held their royal warrant and recognised for providing goods or services to the monarchy are indeed those that have retained them, which include the luxury jewellers, Cartier, Gerard and Company, Mappin and Webb, Champagne producer Lamont Perrier, whiskey distiller D. Johnson and Company, and high end supermarket Waitrose. Next time you go past one of those particular stores and you think, wow, you know, how do you get one of those? What you really have to do is send copies, products, whatever, to the royal household, and then that gets passed through. And if they're looking to, you know, renew or indeed just sample a brand new product, then you could be lucky enough to finally get a royal warrant. And it does a terrific amount for your business. What I love about this, though, is it's the smaller businesses that do really well. You know, the big names we've just mentioned, it's nice. But can you imagine if you're a small business just starting out and finally you're recognised by this great esteemed organisation presented by royal appointment to their majesty's king and queen? Not a bad endorsement, is it? Now, I'm off to get my royal warrant. Well, actually, no, a quick cup of tea. Deal short in the very heart of London.